गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम द रेफर सीरीज दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रदीप श्रीनिवासन फ्रॉम बैंगलोर सो हियर वी हैव अ केस ऑफ सस्पेक्टेड इंक्रीज लिवोकार्डिया सो वेन वी हैव अवर फोर चेम्बर व्यू इन अ प्रॉपर एक्सियल सेक्शन वी सी दैट the apex of the heart points to the left side we have already labeled the left and right of the fetus so it's a levocardia you can see that the interventricular septum is aligned a little more than normal towards the left side so the cardiac finding in the four chamber view is a slightly increased levocardia to quantify the levocardia we draw a sagittal mid sagittal line from the posterior vertebra to the sternum this would go across the mid part of the heart which is the crux then we draw another line along the interventricular septum to meet the first line so the angle subtended by these two lines is the angle of the axis of the heart so you can see that normally it's about 45 to 60 degrees here it's almost 70 plus or 80 degrees so there is a increased levocardia in the abdominal image we can see that the left right is already marked here the upper part of the screen is left side of the fetus lower part of the screen right side of the fetus you can see the stomach bubble labeled as yes is on the right side of the fetus so there is a right sided stomach so levocardia in the chest with an increased levocardia and stomach on the right side now we have to see whether there is situs inversus abdominis or not now we have a cine loop coming from above so the heart is pointing to the left aorta is also on the left side of the vertebral body and you can see the stomach is on the right side but also observe that the umbilical vein takes a turn into the right side it's a normal turn which it takes it comes from the umbilicus posteriorly and it takes a rightward turn and thus we infer that levocardia is there abnormal right sided stomach is there but a normal anatomy of the umbilical vein and right portal vein is there which says that the liver is on the right side so it's a right sided liver and a right sided stomach so it's a mal position of the stomach only and this qualifies for a situs ambiguus now we are going to see what else can be wrong in this fetus next i try to see what's happening to the vasculature of the abdomen so you can see the left is the anterior part right is the posterior part aorta is to the left of the spine and you can see that instead of ivc there is another anechoic structure to the right of aorta and at this same level so this is a little different in terms of anatomy we would have expected the ivc to be to the right of aorta but more anterior to it here you can see that there is a vessel to the right of aorta but at the same plane so this is called as double vessel sign so when there is a double vessel sign we get a suspicion now whether this fetus could be having a left isomerism so the findings are increased levocardia right sided stomach normal right sided liver and now we are trying to say that instead of ivc possibly there is an azygous vein continuation with a double vessel sign in the retroperitoneum as shown here so we proceed to take a coronal of the retroperitoneum the red long structure is the aorta and the blue structure is the azygous vein 
Now one may ask why this is not IVC. In a coronal prevertebral plane, it is not possible to show the IVC alongside the iota. So this side by side coronal picture in color shows that the IVC is interrupted and there is an azygous continuation or taking the venous drainage for up from the abdomen higher up. So now I go back to the chest and do my hammock view or bicaval view and not surprisingly we can see the long SVC, the right atrium and there is no IVC. You can see a middle hepatic vein entering the uh, upper IVC but the retrohepatic IVC is not seen. So the hammock view is incomplete and IVC is not demonstrable. Now we do a color Doppler. We reduce the PRF significantly to get venous flows. We get the umbilical vein, the ductus venosus, the uppermost IVC, the hepatic veins but you can see that the infrahepatic IVC is not seen. The iota is also visualized. So there is no IVC flow in color Doppler. 2D imaging confirms the absence of the infrahepatic IVC. You can see the umbilical vein. We can see the ductus venosus. We can see hepatic vein. We can see the SVC, the right atrium, the iota, okay, the right side its stomach, but we are not able to see the IVC. So there is absent IVC or interruption of abdominal IVC with azygous continuation as shown before. Next we try to see where the azygous vein goes and it also helps in confirming that it is the azygous vein. So that is the azygous vein that comes up into the chest and goes behind the heart and there you can see going into the SVC that is RA. Now again we will try to trace it from below. This is P A S that is iota azygous vein azygous vein now it goes into the chest that is the azygous vein behind the heart then it goes till above and then suddenly takes a turn and joins the SVC. So thereby confirming that it is in fact the azygous vein which goes up into the chest and joins the SVC. So since the suspicion of left atrial isomerism was there, I tried to see whether there is a left atrial appendage in the right atrium. But both the atria had normal morphology and there was no evidence of left atrial appendage in the right atrium. Also when I did a analysis by fetal echo to look for any conduction disorders, it was a 1 is to 1 conduction. Because in left atrial isomerism, the SA node can become defunct and there can be a prolonged PR interval or there can be a heart block. So in this case the findings were increased levocardia, normal heart, right sided stomach, normal right sided liver, interruption of IVC, azygous continuation going into the SVC. I am not sure whether this is a left atrial isomerism but it will be a heterotaxy syndrome which had these findings. So the parents opted for termination and we got the abortus. Autopsy of the abortus confirmed the presence of right sided stomach. Also as suspected the autopsy showed a small bowel mal rotation with normal large bowel, a large central liver. So it was not just a right sided liver, it was a large central liver and the right lung showed a left sided type of morphology with a rudimentary middle lobe and the IVC was interrupted. So we concluded after autopsy that it was a heterotaxy syndrome. It was not a perfect left atrial isomerism but had 
lot of findings inclined towards left atrial isomerism. This is Dr. Pradeep Srinivasan from the Refer series, Bangalore. Happy learning. Jai Hind.